I, I think we pride ourselves on two things. One is whoever asks the best questions always wins hmm. because if you can figure out how to add value, it's easy to figure out how to get paid. And remember the good ones tell the great ones ask. And so the idea to me is I pride myself on being the best, most active listener out there. And if you ask good questions, you can then help people solve problems. You can be, you can, you know, what our business is, is we become the possibility for success in their lives. And the idea is that I don't come in there saying, hey, we're going to do this or we're going to do this. We come in listening and really trying to figure out and create that dream or create the life that that person wants and then help them elegantly execute that. And be, be that possibility for them. I mean, I, I love when our clients say, I never thought this was possible, or I never dreamed we could do this. Or, how, I mean, oh my God, if I would have, all could have only imagined, I wish I would have met you 20 years earlier. And, and that's the fun part of the business is you're just changing people's lives for the better. But it, what's even better yeah, about that? The gratitude, what, for sure. And what's even better about that is you're not only changing their lives for their family, but how many people do those people employ? How many people are pay, sending their kids to college or paying their mortgage from what you've created and they created and they created and, and the abundance and the, and the, and the, and the, the, the ter- tremendous synergy you create in the world from this work is mm-hmm. what drives me. I uh, read the 15th century philosopher used to say there were three types of stone cutters. And I think there's three types of everybody. It's just as apropos now. He used to say, there's a group of stone cutters that cut stone to feed their family. And in every industry, that we, there's those people. Mm-hmm. And he used to say, there's also a group of stone cutters that cut stone because they're very talented and artistic at it. And there's a group of people in every industry there too. But there's another group of stone cutters who think they're building a temple for God. And I think one of the ways we connect is that I think with, there are companies and you and I, we believe we're out there building a temple for God. We're changing the lives of all the people we touch. And so that never gets old. And that never seems like a business. 